In this video, I'm going to show you some of the most frequently used interface related show commands in the Cisco networking world. I'm going to use Cisco modeling lab for this demo because Packet Tracer does not have a lot of capabilities when it comes to interface related show commands. This is my Packet Tracer lab. I'm going to open this switch and going to issue one of the most commonly used interface related command that is show run int kick 101 it can be any interface you see inbuilt input detected at this mark so this command doesn't work in packet tracer to look at the running config of an interface you have to issue show run and go all the way down to that interface to look at that running config. That is why I'm selecting Cisco Modeling Lab. So let's go to the Cisco Modeling Lab. I have connected to this Cisco Modeling Lab using Secure CRT because as of now in Cisco Modeling Lab, you have to go to each and every device console port to look at the details. You cannot have all the switches in different tabs in just one interface like in the secure CRT or any other SSH or Telnet program. Right now I am connected to all three switches. These are S1, S2, S3. You can see this is S1, this is S2, this is S3. So let's go to S1 and issue one of the most commonly used interface show command that is show int status this tells you the port number description status whether it's connected or disabled and the vlan on the port and the speed and also the type of the port so when you have a problem on a port you need to look at whether that port is in the right vlan whether it is connected how the speed looks like all kind of details can be looked under show in status. There are some variations you can do with the show in status. You can do show in status, do pipe, include, connected. This will only give you the connected interfaces. If you have a hundreds of ports in a stack and you want to only see the connected ports, just use the pipe command. You can also look at disabled port. This will only give you the disabled port. Another variation you can do with this interface command is show int and you define the interface number gig zero zero status. This will give you only that port details. The next command is show int gig zero zero. There is nothing after that. Using this command, you can see whether the port is up or down whether the protocol is running or not, what is the MAC address of this port, what is the MTU, what is the load, what is the reliability of this port, what is the encapsulation, and importantly, you can look at whether this port have any errors or any kind of CRC or input errors on this port. That means the port is having some problems. So this will give you a lot of details for you to troubleshoot a particular port. The next command is going to be show int gig 00 switch port. This command will give you most of the layer 2 information of this port. It tells you the port is enabled or not, what is the VLAN trunking on it, what is the VLAN on it, what is the name of the VLAN, whether you have a voice VLAN on this port, whether you have trunking enabled on the port, what are the VLAN on the trunk, is there any VLAN get pruned here? So all kind of layer two information can be seen using this command. The next command is show int gig zero zero capabilities. So you are basically replacing switch port with capabilities. Unfortunately, Cisco modeling lab doesn't give you this option because it is not a real port. It is a virtual port. So I'm going to go to the real switch and issue the command show int status say for example i want to look at the capabilities of this uplink port gig 101 which is connected now show int gig 101 
capabilities. This will give you the model number of the switch, what kind of optics on it, what is the speed it supports, what is the trunking it can support, and all kind of capabilities of this port can be seen under this command. So let's look at another command. Go to the Cisco modeling app. Show int counters. This will give you all the counters of a port. Unfortunately, since it's not a real port, it doesn't work in the packet tracer or in the Cisco modeling lab. So let's copy this one and go to our real switch and paste it here. Show interface counters. This is for all the interfaces. You can see it is giving you all the counters about this port. This is unicast packet counters. This is multicast packet counters. This is broadcast packet counters. I am interested in basically error counters because I want to know whether the ports are having errors or not. To do that, I want to issue the command show in counters errors. This will give you information about what kind of errors the port is having. Right now, I do not have any errors, but in a real switch, if you see a lot of receive errors, transmit errors, FCC errors means CRC errors, this is a really bad error. That means the port is having a lot of issue. All kind of errors you can find under this show interface counters errors. So network engineers use this command to look at the errors when they are having problem with the port. So another command we use is show interface geek instead of capabilities. I want to see what is the information about this transceiver, which is the optics on the port. Diagnostic monitoring is not implemented. This will only give you information if you have DOM enabled on these transceivers. Right now, it is not enabled, but in your real Cisco production environment, you will have this enabled most of the time. So another frequently used commands is show int description. This will give you description of all the ports. If you look at here, you can see there's only description available for gig 00 and port channel 10. Most of the time we label the ports so we can find out what is connected on these ports. In those times, this command is very heavily used to look at the description of the port. Once you know the description of the port, then you can look at the details about that port. But if you know the port number, you can directly look at the description of that port by show int gig zero zero description. That will give you the description on that port directly. It tells there's a PC1 connected to that port. So another command we are going to look at is show int trunk. This is also very heavily used. This will tell you what are the ports has trunk enabled, what are the VLANs enabled on the trunk, what VLANs are active on the trunk, and is there any VLAN pruning enabled on a port. Say for example, if you are interested on VLAN 100 and want to find out on which port VLAN 100 is enabled, issue show in trunk, pipe, include 100. Right now, VLAN 100 is enabled on port channel 10 only. You can see two of the port channel, that is because you can see here 100 is showing up on two places. That is the reason you see twice here. Also, if you want to look at trunk on a particular port, say for example, show int gig 3.1 trunk, this will only give you the details of the trunk on that particular port. You can use port channel 10 instead of gig 3.1 also. So let's try show int PO10 trunk. You can see the trunk information on that particular port channel only. If this video is useful to you, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for my future video updates.